Creating a home with great style isn't as hard or expensive as you might think. Get ready, we're about to start a trend. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and we'll completely transform your space into a house of style. Wow! This weekend I'm helping Jess and Carrie with their living room makeover. Jess and Carrie fell in love with this home the moment they walked into it, and why wouldn't they? It's absolutely incredible. It came with a lot of dated furniture and a lot of character, but it doesn't quite fit their style. They felt a little paralyzed by all the potential this home has and haven't been quite sure what to do with the living room. So this is the living room. This is our colonial-esque entertaining room that has yet to be used to entertain anyone. It, it is so good. Like, I'm a little speechless. I, I've seen photos. The ceilings are so high and the beams and like even the textured walls. I mean, it's like a fairy tale. This place is amazing. Hi, I'm Carrie. And I'm Jess. So we've always been drawn to homes with character. So we knew we didn't want something necessarily new construction, but we also would like to make it a little bit more fresher. Like we're young and we have old souls, we like to say, but we don't want to live in an old soul house. Not saying that we're cool or anything. You, 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 you can say it. <laughs> We're cool, we're pretty cool. Yeah. We've been here for about six months now and we've yet to really entertain because we don't know how to utilize the space. Yeah, almost paralyzed by the potential yeah. because it can be so epic. Like you know that it can be and now you're kind of like afraid to mess it up. Absolutely, I'm so terrified. <laughs> this is our favorite room in the house so we want it to really embody everything that we like in our home. Just because this is an older home that has these more formal bones doesn't mean that that's the style you have to keep it in. We want to take nods from the home, but it needs to feel like you guys too. Our personal style is more warm, welcoming, more boho-esque. Mm -hmm. A lot of rattan, a lot of wicker. Right, like right now, like there's a lot of like small dainty pieces, which are really pretty and nice, but they feel a little formal. I feel like a giant right now. Yeah. This chair, <laughs> It's so tiny. I mean, we all look I'm, like giants, yes, right? I okay. feel like one. We're not we're walking. giants. <laughs> yes. Promise. The folks we bought the house from, they owned a lot of stuff that they just so happened to leave here. So we're kind of working around that and all the china cabinets and cuckoo clocks. A little bird told me that this room also has something very special coming up. We decided to call off our wedding plans somewhere else and we want to get married right outside the window and have our reception area with our family in this room. We're going to completely surprise them. They're not oh going to know shit. it's our wedding day. We're going to tell them it's a housewarming party. Like oh my word. Wait, pictures. I didn't hear this part. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Oh, that's an epic surprise. Yeah. So. That also puts so much more pressure on me this weekend. <laughs> no pressure. It's totally fine. Just going to be in pictures to live forever. Totally fine. <laughs> Just forever. Just forever. <laughs> Right now, there's so much going on in here that it almost feels like bringing a lot of people in here, everything would just feel like yeah. a little overwhelming, yeah. right? So we have to start off by clearing out this space, and then once we're done with that, we'll jump into our first project. Sounds great, let's cool. get started. Let's do it, yeah. Let's do this the easy way. And done. This is a whole new room. We've never seen it like this before at all. All right, so we are gonna work on not just project one, but project one and two. We're gonna kind of tag team the two of them because it's a big project, and I feel like you both kind of know what we're headed towards, don't you? I really hope it's this. Yeah. <laughs> it's enormous. Like, this mantle is so big that when you walk into this space, it should immediately be a focal point. We're gonna demo off this entire bookshelf area. It's also hiding the fireplace. Like, from the doorway, if I'm just walking in from here, I don't even see a fireplace. I just think it's a bookshelf. You can't even see it. There's a lot going on here. What is happening with this tile? I didn't even realize until we got some of the stuff out of here just how pink it is. Like, I match that tile, and I don't know that that's a good thing. And we're gonna tag team this. Jess, you and I are gonna go outside and work on the mantle. And then Carrie, you and Matt are gonna demo this area in here. We get the fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, you, you wanted to bring stuff. You wanted the demo. <laughs> So before we divide and conquer and we start working the mantle and you guys demo, I wanna show you what we're gonna bring in. So we're gonna replace the pink tile. Ooh. Bluish, grayish. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's geometric and it comes in a lot of different patterns. Very cool, right? Yes, and so, I like that it's not super glossy and yeah. flashy. It's still like keeping the room to the old world charm in a way. Yeah. Yes. All right, now that you've seen the tile, we actually can get to work. 
We're just gonna lay it flat here on these saw horses. Perfect. So how do you feel about the mantle? Kind of talk me through it. I don't hate the mantle itself, but the color is a little bit off to me. I agree. I mean, the craftsmanship on it is, is beautiful. I just don't think the wood is right for this room and the style direction we're going in. Now, guys, if you have a comment, I know that there are a lot of you that feel very strongly and passionately about painting wood. If you do, leave me a comment below. Tell me that it's the worst idea ever. Tell me that it's the best idea, but you have to promise to stick around to the end to see the reveal, because I think you're going to love it. How do you feel about painting it? I'm actually really excited. Okay, all right. I'll tr I trust you. All right. I'll, I'll see what we come up with. What I have here is the satin finish. Okay, so it's gonna have not totally matte, but not totally glossy either. It's kind gotcha. of in the middle, so that way you have some really good protection on it. It's a little different, but I think you're gonna love it. You ready? I'm so excited. Shut up. Good that shut up or bad shut good up? Good shut up. Green's my favorite color, so I'm really Ooh. excited to see how it comes out. It's like a very mossy green yeah. that leans a little bit of yellow in it, and I think it's gonna just beautifully complement the tile. I think what's not working about this mantle is the red tone. So this actually is a mahogany wood. The problem with that is even if we sanded it down and did like a new stain finish, you're gonna have a lot of that red kind of coming through. I didn't wanna fight it. We're trying to give this space more of a modern style and feel. So painting this is gonna make a big difference. I really want the beams to shine as the wood in the room. I'm gonna bring in more through accessories and little elements, but I don't think this needs to stay wood. What we're gonna do is tile from the existing area, but we're gonna extend it all the way over here like we talked about, so it has like a really great visual focal point. This is brand new tile from Lowe's that doesn't necessarily look brand new. It looks like it's been aged and has some character to it. What I love about it is that it has a unique patterning that leans modern, but then the color variation in it kind of leans a little bit boho too. There's nothing extra shiny, not glossy. It's gonna work really nicely in here. Opening a couple boxes lets us kind of mix them all together and then we can create our own random pattern because we do just want this to look like effortless. Like, oh, this is such a cool pattern and we didn't think about it. What your spacer does is it determines how far apart your tile is gonna go, which basically means how much grout you're gonna see. But in this case, the tile and the pattern is the star of the show, so we want the grout to be a little more subtle. The little nook next to the fireplace has so much potential. I kind of like the direction that Jess and Carrie were heading in it. They had a little bench in there, but they were really just kind of using it for storage for everything. I want to create a built-in bench area in this little nook and really play up the character and architectural details that are already there. So, how do you like our new little bench seat? I love it. I'm not used to sitting over here. This right? Is, this is awesome. So Matt whipped this up for us. Uh, kind of has like a two by four base and then just simple finished plywood. Okay. What we're gonna do is add the molding to this front area. We have like all the Tudor elements here, but now we need to tie it into kind of the boho look that you guys want. And I have a really simple creative hack that I've never tried, but I think it's gonna work. What I came up with is using woven blinds. And I thought, what if we just face the bench with it and really add like a panel of texture? I already cut our trim wood for us. Okay. So we need to just hit the face of this with a little bit of spray adhesive, then we'll pop it up, hold it in place with a nail, and then add our molding. I'm loving how this is looking, but now what we need to do is use our vertical pieces to cover up our seam. Cool. All right, let's take a step back. Admire our handiwork. Beautiful. What do you think? I never would have thought window shades could serve as like decoration for a bench, but I'm loving it. Totally works, right? Very creative, yeah. How do you feel? I think we should definitely add two more slots. Definitely. Okay. I like the square situation. All right, we'll add those two and then we'll be all set.
I'm trying not to get too excited about all these accessories, but I'm loving what I'm seeing. Yes, we have so many great accessories that I picked out at Lowe's, but let me kind of tell you what we're doing first. Usually I save like the styling for the end and do it by myself, so there's a reveal. I thought it would be fun if we at least styled out this wall and I could kind of give you some of my tips and tricks that I use. I love it, because I good? definitely need some tips and tricks for the rest of the house. So because of the location of this area of your room and like the front door is right there, I kind of imagine that when you come home, you're coming in and this to me feels like a drop zone, a place where you could drop things if you need to. So we're gonna kind of create this to be its own little vignette, its own moment, and also a great place that you could like drop your keys if you need to. So it'll be a nice thoughtful catch-all for everything, except for, instead of just the mess of just throwing everything into this room. Exactly, I like it. yes. I think that this space just naturally lends itself to, you know, gathering things, but we can do it in a way that's more intentional. I love it, and style. Whenever I'm styling a space, I unpack everything I have. What is helpful to me is to put it all out on a table. It's almost like we're gonna shop our accessories. I found a lot of great items at Lowe's that had a combination of like a modern feel and then kind of an older world feel too. Now we can see what we're working with. All right, before I show you our furniture piece, let me show you the art that I got as well. So we have some really natural pieces. And then these I really like. I love those. Aren't they cool? Oh, I didn't even see the two. Yeah, so these oh, ones actually these came as a set. And now let me show you our furniture. I feel like there should be a drum roll or something. There should be, you can go for it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ooh. Really pretty concept. I love table. that. Isn't that nice? Yes, it so, looks really good against the floor. And this is gonna be our piece that grounds this area. So we could have just put some artwork on this wall but then it will be something you walk past. Having this kind of adds that drop zone element. What do you think? I love it. I didn't know this space could look so good. <laughs> I did, it was such a great room. But this just looks more like you, right? It's so like much brighter and it makes the room feel so much lighter. And I love the different textures in the prints and it feels so warm and inviting. So when you first walk in, I just love this, this space already. Good. I can't wait to see the rest of the room. That's the perfect segue because it is time to officially kick you out of this room. You are banished. Matt and I have a ton to do. This is just the beginning of our styling and the beginning of what's to come. I'm using a wide variety of styles and color accent pillows throughout this room. Remember that not everything needs to match. To be fully transparent, I was not planning to use any wallpaper in this space, especially because of the super textured walls. But when I went to Lowe's to grab some more accessories and plants, I couldn't resist. This is a really great example of leveling up something you already have. This built-in was already here. It was probably original to the home but it wasn't really adding any style to the room. In fact, it was kind of, I didn't really even notice it at first because it was the same color as the walls, but we did just a little facelift for it and it looks so much better and so much more like Jess and Carrie. Wallpaper on the back is a great way to kind of draw your eye in and then to paint the actual shelves and the molding in a contrasting color really makes it pop. Once I add all of our accessories and plants, this is now gonna become such a fun focal point in the room. Don't forget about lighting when you are styling your spaces. Lighting can impact the feel that a room has in a really big way. In this case, this room gets really dark for about half of the day. So we're doing three different types of light sources. We're doing overhead pendant lights. We're doing table lights next to the sofa and even a really beautiful ground lamp as well. Adding ceiling lights in here isn't competing with the beams and the vaulted ceiling, it's actually helping to accentuate them. As soon as you walk in, your eye's gonna go up, you're gonna see the lights, but they're also gonna do something else. They're gonna bring the ceiling down a little bit when you're in the room, so it gives it more of a cozy feeling. Adding fresh plants and flowers to a room really breathes life into a space. I grabbed tons of awesome plants at Lowe's and then I just happened to notice Jess and Carrie's neighbors have a lilac bush in full bloom and they said I could cut some. It's gonna look just right in a vase. Thanks, neighbor. <laughs> All right, totally done. Time to get Jess and Carrie. All right, you guys, you can come in. Oh. 
there's lights! Oh my god, I didn't even see the lights. You guys aren't saying much, I'm nervous. Uh, I love it! I don't even recognize it. This is insane. I love the color of the mantle. I love that there's so much color, but it's still like very neutral and like bright and what? fresh feeling. It feels like we can actually have like conversations in here. I feel so cool. <laughs> I yeah, feel this so is... cool. I can't wait to have people just come and we can have game nights. When we walked in, our eyes went right to <laughs> the fireplace, which is what we really wanted. I love it. And it feels so much bigger without like the shelves. I mean, the shelves were covering that masterpiece. Yeah. Like, look yeah. at that. I mean, it is so cool. I have to say, like, I, as far as fireplaces go, this is like off the charts cool. It is so neat. And it's so it cool is. that, like, we know that Carrie had a hand in like laying yeah. the tile. So like, it makes the space feel more like our own. And it makes me feel like I can actually like do stuff with the rest of the house now. That's awesome. That's what I love about doing it yourself and infusing your own style. Like you guys will feel proud of this room forever. Like here with the bench sheet. Carrie, tell her what we did at the bottom there. Yeah, so can you guess what, what material this is? <laughs> no. It is window shades. Shut up. We got a little Shut creative. Up. We got exactly. real Go ahead. creative. Go ahead. And that was all you? That was all uh, him. Monica helped me a little bit. Just a little. Just like whatever, I did whatever he needed I'm me impressed. to. I'm impressed. <laughs> I would have never thought to check Lowe's for like the accessory pieces. Right? And but the now, art, the accessories, the furniture, the rugs, whoa. the paint, the lights, like literally everything in here. That's a TV. <laughs> Shut up! And basically you put your own art up there so you never know. That yeah. is the coolest thing. I was able to take your style, which you wanted more updated, more boho, kind of natural elements, and infuse it with this traditional home. And I think we did a pretty good job. What do you think? Yeah. I'm speechless. The pressure was on for me this weekend. Do you feel like this room is wedding worthy? Definitely. Absolutely. Yes. I cannot wait to see our parents' reaction when we get married literally right outside that window and then bring them in to this beautiful new space. Plenty of seating, plenty of elements that really fit us to yeah. really like tie the wedding into us. We cannot thank you guys enough yes. for transforming this room beyond what our wildest imaginations yeah. could have turned it into. Well, that was a magical makeover weekend. I love this space and I would love to hear what you guys think. So be sure to leave a comment below. And we've linked all the products and accessories, all the furniture, everything that we used in this space down below for you as well. And before you go, make sure you're subscribed to Lowe's YouTube channel. You don't want to miss a single episode.